Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, and good morning to each one of you. Our Gospel reflection today is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, verses 6 and 7. Let us read. He said to them, Isaiah prophesies rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. Now Jesus quoted from the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13. Here we see Jesus confronting the Pharisees and religious leaders of his time. It was all about their man-made traditions which they placed above the commands of God. The Pharisees were people who always thought that what they did on the outside will somehow change the inside. We too would have used this word hypocrite in relation to a person. And the dictionary will define a hypocrite as someone who doesn't practice what they preach. A biblical or spiritual hypocrite would be a person who pretends to have virtues, morals, religious beliefs, principles, etc. that he or she doesn't actually possess. Now, hypocrisy is always motivated by self-love. We want to impress everyone around us. We want to make them think that we are something which we know in our hearts we are not. Jesus is tender with sinners, but here we see him denounce those guilty of religious hypocrisy. So when Jesus referred to the Pharisees as hypocrites, it was because their teachings were correct, but they themselves did not live up to their own teachings. And in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 23, we see a solid explanation by Jesus as to why he called the Pharisees hypocrites. Let us read. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tight mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. But Jesus was always clear about what he said. He also gave us another example through the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Because many of us are confident of our own righteousness and look down on everyone else. Hypocrisy is a sin in the sense, as the Word of God tells us, that every immoral acts are sins. Now, hypocrisy is widespread in all domains of life. It has played a significant role in the history of bigotry, wars, persecutions, etc. Now, brothers and sisters, as we begin this year of 2022, it would be nice for us to introspect ourselves. It would be nice if we can correct certain areas of our lives which will not keep our hearts far from God. The Word of God will show us various ways which will help us not only worship our God in vain, but also let us live a life that is pleasing to our Lord and God. And there are many verses in the Bible which will teach us about hypocrisy. Let us try and understand a few areas which we can introspect for change. If we look at the book of 1 John 4.20, There we read that we claim to love God, yet hate 
our brothers or sisters. And the word of God refers to such a person as a liar. We know of so many families where there is no love due to many issues like property, material wealth, etc. The word of God further says that whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And how true the statement is. How true this verse is. The other area that we can introspect is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 37 and 46. In today's life, we find following the new commandment, Jesus gave us a very big challenge. Love God and love our neighbor. We claim to know God, but many of our actions are detestable, disobedient, and unfit for doing anything good in society. And these acts of ours deny the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel of Matthew 23, 28, we read, So you also, on the outside, look righteous to others. But inside, you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. We may have heard these words of Jesus. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, we should be very careful that we do not practice our righteousness in front of others only to be seen by them. If we do such acts, we will have no reward from our Father in heaven. And hypocrisy is not good if practiced because hypocrisy will make us live a double life. Hypocrisy will always make us live in fear. Hypocrisy will let us lead others astray. Hypocrisy will make our lives contrary to the Gospels and teachings of Jesus Christ. As followers or believers of Jesus Christ, if we turn a moment of forgiveness into an excuse of hate, we are hypocrites. When we see the sins of others worse than our own, that's hypocrisy. What really matters to God is not the external acts of tradition, but the internal state of one's heart. No amount of religious externalities are meritorious before God unless they proceed from the love of God and from a heart of faith. God measures the heart of his children. Our hearts must be changed, renewed, and external or man-made rituals cannot bring that change. Our hearts can be purified only by faith in Jesus and Jesus alone. Hoping that Jesus never has to call us hypocrites. And as the Gospel of John 424. Let us read. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. To recap, let us go back to the gospel verse, the reflection of today, where Jesus is telling us that Isaiah was right when he prophesied about us. That we are people who honor him with our lips. Our hearts are far from him. We are people who worship our Lord, our God in vain. 
and our teachings are merely human rules. So, from today, let us put into practice the Gospel of John 4.24 that as worshippers of God, let us worship Him in spirit and truth. Amen. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters.